I think that the idea of retirement is a ridiculous notion. See, sometimes you are retired by the Lord that tells you, okay, that's the time to stop. My plans are for the next 140 years. Then I may think about going back to extending my own garden and see how the roses bloom. The next 140 years I'm busy. Rabbi Sandel said to me a long time ago, he said, Arthur, we're planting trees, not vegetables. You know, vegetables, you, you put in the seeds, within the season you get your, but a tree is, a, is an investment for the long run. The Rabbi Steinsaltz is not a man of power, but he's a man on, of influence. He's coming to the office now every day for a little longer. He's working on the, on the Bible, which needs to be finished in a few months, so he's working on the manuscripts. Thankfully, he has always been way ahead of us in all the projects. As we speak, he's correcting some of the materials for the Hebrew Bible, which again, later will be used, of course, for the English Bible and God will of the French Bible. When Rabbi Steinsaltz's commentary on Tanakh is available and it's translated into English with Hebrew facing pages, I'll be one of the first customers. I think Rabbi Steinsaltz's grand mission is to make everyone, every Jew and every human being move forward in his or her own spiritual journey. If one person moves forward, is happy because a small change has been made. But if many people move forward, then the whole world shakes. And that's what he desires. For me, with my passion for education, I have to talk about his school and the outreach. In real life, the teachers are those who enable the future to grow. These are the people that are Banaim, the builders. I think the yeshiva in Tko plays uh, a very important uh, role in the rabbi's dream. Rabbi Steins relates to each of his students in a more general sense, like soldiers in his army. Being a student of Rabbi Steins automatically means that you need to feel responsible and be caring for the being of the Jewish community throughout the world. The influence of Rabbi Steinsaltz on me is, is, is more than what I, I, I could uh, think of, it's more than what I, I, I can comprehend. There is a lot of work to be done uh, to give more people greater access to the Rav's teachings. But he's created an organization and he's created a body of work and he's created people who believe in what he's believed in and perpetuated, and frankly, will be the rabbi's legacy. That's our job. That's like the tamidim, the people that work, the friends, the donors, that's our job. People believe in him, that's one thing. But most importantly, he believes in people. He many times came and said, listen, you need to live your lives for a big dream, not for small dreams. He gave the desire for learning to the Jewish people. He gave them a yearning to know and that's why his phrase is indeed, let my people know. 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 Let my people know.